the rasam first so for making the rasam i have taken a pot into which i will pour some oil oil we are going to pour very little just about one small spoon because we are making diet rasam and diet vada the oil is nice and hot and we are adding a mixture of urad dal white lentil split urad dal and mustard seed so let them splutter and then into this we will add some ginger half a spoon of crushed ginger or chopped ginger for making the rasam i have taken some masalas this is the star of the recipe rasam powder this is store bought rasam powder you can use any rasam powder of your choice red chili powder red chili powder is one spoon for the color and this is two big spoons pepper powder very small amount just two pinches some asperida or hing green chilies curry leaves and some turmeric so everything we'll put inside now you see that the urad dal and ginger is cooked and now we will put in all the spices all the dry spices go in just give it a mix we have taken very little oil so be careful with the masalas and into this i am putting paste of four tomatoes these are raw tomatoes you can use finely chopped tomatoes but i prefer to use a paste so it gives a uniform texture this goes inside and now we will cook this for a minute now allow the tomatoes along with the spices to cook in the tomatoes should be nicely cooked and this will take 5 minutes so let us cover it and keep and we will take a look after 5 minutes so i cover this and then i will reduce the flame to the minimum let this sit here for 5 minutes it is 2 minutes let us take a check on the tomatoes Yes they have started to boil and sizzle very nicely at this point we are not going to add any water cover it and allow another 3 minutes of cooking meanwhile on another flame i have kept about 700 ml of water to boil this water will go in the rasam i don't want to add cold water so the temperature comes down the tomatoes are cooking for the rasam to be made ready meanwhile i have taken here pressure cooked tur dal or arhar dal this is about 1 cup of dal and this will go into the rasam once the tomatoes are ready it is 5 minutes and let us check at the tomatoes yes they look very nice and done yes you can also take diced tomatoes but i like the texture of tomato paste so i have taken like this into which now we will add the dal give it a nice mix in this we will add 1 spoon of jaggery half a spoon of imli paste or tamarind paste you can use fresh tamarind if you have give it a nice stir i kept the water for boiling and the same boiled water i am adding into this rasam so it doesn't disturb the temperature of the rasam allow this to come to a boil on a high flame and then we will simmer it for at least 10 minutes so that all the flavors incorporate in beautifully into our rasam see here the rasam is come to a vigorous boil at this point i will just lower the flame keep it to the minimum the last what is left is we will adjust the seasoning for the salt so salt i am adding two small spoons you will add salt as per your taste give it a nice mix cover it and leave it simmering for 10 good minutes we proceed to the second step of the recipe that is making the vadas for that i have taken urad dal which i had soaked for 3 to 4 hours it has become nice and soft this now i will run it to the mixer with very little water vada batter is now ready and it looks somewhat like this it is pretty thick you can see it is pretty thick you don't have to add a lot of water here i have already made one batch of batter here into which i am going to mix this batter pull in everything together one batch of vada mix i had already prepared and one i just showed it for you please do not add too much of water in the urad dal and soak it for a good 4 to 5 hours we will season this with salt so i am adding salt here salt is to taste some ginger and chili pieces some 
black pepper powder and we will add some chopped coriander we will have to aerate this mixture that is we have to put in air into the batter as it is very very thick for that you can whisk it with hand i am using a machine here i'm using so we have added in the spices and now we are adding in air by this process so that the batter becomes very light and fluffy this needs to be done for at least 2 minutes you see that the mixture is becoming very light and fluffy so do not use any spoon or something just keep it like this for making the vadas this vada mix nice and fluffy is ready you can go ahead and deep fry it but since we are doing the diet version today i am certainly not going to deep fry so let's see how we proceed with the next step i will be making the vadas in appam pan so as to use minimum oil so in every loop i am just putting about two drops of oil in this i'll start pulling out small dumplings so as to make vadas that is enough because it will also fluff up in this manner we will fill up the pan with the vada batter i have made small dumplings into this pan which is with very little oil i will cover this for a minute and let us check after 1 minute it's 1 minute let us open and check what is the state of the vadas in the appam pan yes it is nicely coming out it has started to brown so let us flip every vada in the appam pan so as the other side also cooks very evenly flip all the vadas and allow it to cook for 1 minute on the other side so as it achieves a uniform golden brown color and becomes nice and crispy at this point we will not cover the vadas just let it be and cook on its own it is 1 minute let us check on the vadas yes it is started to get from the other side too if you feel if it is too dry you can add in a drop of oil i am adding one drop of oil in every loop so that the vadas don't become dry that's it so our vadas are ready minus the calories of the oil you see that the vadas have browned from both the sides evenly and now it is ready to be pulled out of the appam pan so we will pull out all the vadas onto a plate rasam is ready it has simmered for 10 minutes and i have given a standing time for 5 minutes i'm adding some wet shredded coconut and i will also add some coriander leaves so rasam is ready the vadas are ready and now we will plate them rasam is ready here we will loop in some vadas rasam is also separately served you have some vadas there and you are good to go you have a very healthy rasam vada which is almost oil free a very healthy option and a very satisfying meal